Hey guys, today we are in BMW uh, M5 uh, F90, I believe, and I'm going to show you how to enter the hidden menu in the instrument cluster and what can you do with it. So first of all, once you, we are in the vehicle, um, don't press uh, the brake pedal, just press the um, start stop button three times. This will turn on the ignition without turning on the engine. And uh, right now, we need to locate this little button over here in the uh, bottom left corner. Press and hold it for about uh, maybe 10 seconds. Let's zoom in. And you should see after those 10 seconds a menu on the right side. Here it is, mine menu. And with short presses, you can browse through the menu. There are only four options or so. And first of all, let's go to identification. So once the um, option is highlighted, you need to press and hold the button over here and it will enter this screen. And over here, we are looking for the VIN number and we are interested in last five digits. So 65325, we need to add those uh, up. So five plus two plus three is 10, plus five is 15, plus six is 21. We need this, um, um, we need to do this because the 21 is now going to be used as a unlock code for the rest of the options in the hidden menu. So let's press and hold to exit um, the sub menu. Let's go down to unlock, press and hold to enter unlock sub menu. The code is 21 in my case, calculated for your vehicle. So let's press the button 21 times and right now press and hold it to confirm and if it was entered correctly we have new options we have tank so let's press and hold to uh, go over here we have the raw readouts from the tank uh, level sensors let's press and hold to exit and there's a temperature menu over here where you can use it to check the coolant and oil temperature readouts what's else over here a board computer and correction factor this is used to um, adjust the trip computer range and fuel economy if you happen to know that the um, calculated values over here are not correct so for example uh, you know how much fuel you put in and how much uh, distance can you travel with it but the board computer is giving you a different range you can uh, enter a correction uh, factor over here Okay, and to exit this menu, just go to test and press and hold and it will go back to normal operation mode. But since we are here, let's go to system test, press and hold. It will ask us if we want to start the test. So let's short press it. And this is the test of the display of the indicators. So we know that the display is actually working correctly. Okay, press and hold to go back to my menu, scroll to test end, press and hold to end the test mode, confirm with short press, and we are done. Okay, thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial, and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.